Okay, this little electron gun here is one I found recently actually from a quite large CRT that was broken. I uh, thought this would be quite a good little chance to dismantle one and see what's actually inside. So again, similarly we have our, our heaters here, our cathode, and then our, our grid connection here, and our grid first anode, which is also connected to this plate here, and this is our focus assembly. And our final anode here. Now, if I check, yeah, we can see there's a connection here, and here, and here, and that's the focus connection on here, which will go into the this part of the socket with the insulated tab on it. Okay, and again, final anode connected to the internal casing. This is interesting. These uh, little plates, or that's basically um, aluminium, I think, actually coating are obviously to do with the positions of the focus but I'm not quite sure of the function of these and I can't find anything on it but it's possibly to do with the way uh, charge builds up round about the focusing electrodes. Okay I've managed to take dismantle this support on the other side this is the um, basically the support for all the anodes and uh, grids on the on the gun itself so they're really important that the gun alignment is kept by them so this side's had it removed uh, as I say with great difficulty so we can see a little bit better the okay, so this part here this is the final anode so this is connected to the internal coating on the CRT and you can see the three exit windows in line for this this gun so this will be normally at about 25 up to 25 kV on this connection Okay, now we have the um, focus segments removed, so I take this is the assembly that forms the focus unit, basically our three parts to it. And you can see it's, there are three beams go through the one sort of focus assembly. So this is our first anode assembly, again all common to the three beams and but there are two, two parts to the complete anode. Now that leaves us with the cathode and the grid assemblies with the heaters still in. So looking at the front again you can see where the, where the three beams emerge from the, the grids. You can see how very close they are to the positions to the cathode uh, by the close the heating effect on there. This is the top of our three cathodes there. So that's and the emissive surface is on as a coating on top of of these. Okay, if we carefully look at the heaters, I'll see if I can remove this one. So that is the the heater being removed from the cathode. The heaters are coated with a, an insulated layer. In this CRT the heaters are actually in series. So to actually identify what, what pins connect to which part of the gun is kind of tricky if you don't have the information from just the pinouts of the manufacturing uh, description but you can follow it knowing what parts so as I say start with the heater which would be in this case would be these two uh, they're in parallel in this one and the connections are from again see here and here so in this case it's coming off onto these two pins at this point here. It's simpler to work out where the grid and first anode and focus are. Focus is very easy because it will be the one in this part here, in the, the large case the insulated part. Uh, this housing is our grid connection which actually seems to come out on two pins here. Yeah, these two. Sometimes you'll find they're available on more than one pin. And then this one here is our first anode connection, which goes down and you again follow through the base. So it's slightly easier if you've got the, the 
the style of base to follow it. You can actually sometimes remove these but you have to be quite careful because they're stuck on here where the vacuum seal point is. The cathode is a little bit trickier. You tend to be looking for a, a connection that's going into the grid area but it's not the heaters. So again we could see the heater here and here. So this one in the middle here is the cathode connection to the, this, this gun, this part of the gun here and that's connected out here in this pin. So it's a case of tracing them back. Likewise the this one yeah, this is the outer one, so that's also the cathode, and that's your inner one in... Oh no, that's a heater, so it must be... Yeah, this one here, which tucks in. So, that's how tricky it is to, to work out which thing, where things are. Uh, I've only looked at uh, inline and delta guns with, for this. Uh, if you come across Trinitrons, they are slightly different again. They're very easily recognised. Uh, they have a, a resistor here. This is actually a dropper type resistor with two different parts of the anodes. Uh, only Trinitrons have that. Uh, again, it's a case of following through the base. They have two focusing supplies in, so you can see there's actually two pins in the high voltage area here, uh, which go to different parts of the focusing electrodes or anodes in the middle here. So, slightly trickier. I thought I'd finish off looking at this little uh, CRT. This is a Sony Pocket Television. Uh, one of the last things using a, a CRT, but they've attempted to make a flat tube with this. How they've done it is actually the gun assemblies here with the deflection coils. Um, but you're actually looking at the back of the fluorescent material. It's basically taken a, a CRT similar to this type, which is out of a camcorder where the electron gun's here. And rather than look at the, the front here, they've folded that down and you're looking at it through the vacuum here, so that's the back of the fluorescent uh, tube, the uh, fluorescent screen there. Um, to do that, they will have to reverse the line scan on the coil, otherwise you're looking at a mirror image. Interestingly, they've kept the high voltage connection to the anode on the, the cone of the tube, as standard, rather than using it here. Uh, and it runs in such a low current for the heaters, you can hardly make a heater out inside there. Uh, only available in black and white.